tell it like it is. Theater has no money. The athletic budget was cut, and what is even happening to the Poetry Slam? I'm Nell Sanders, and I'm going undercover to talk about theater and funding. I talked to Isaac Bain about his theater experience in this issue. Um, so last year, the musical lost a lot of money, um, and uh, as as a business might, uh, when a department loses a lot of money, they get a spending cut, uh, and they they don't get to spend as much money, uh, and therefore they don't lose as much. Um, this is pretty frustrating to a lot of people uh, because. A lot of people were not involved with the musical. Um. After I talked to Isaac, I wanted to know more. So, I walked into the depths of the black box to talk to some more theater students. Are you guys in theater? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. yeah. Do you guys have money? No. 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 They don't have money. Um, Mr. Lombardi has actually like talked to Steve a lot, or so Steve has said, and like has been like brought up the idea of Arts Night In. Um, uh, but other than that, we are Lone Rangers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what I heard from NHS students really bothered me. So I roamed the halls, pondering what to do, and then decided to go to the source himself, Brian Lombardi. Where's the money, Brian? Um... The more I talk to him, the more I realize that this lack of funding is more complicated than it seems. I, I, the, the activities in the clubs are such a vital part of working yeah, in high school. They really are. Um, and I think we've always prided ourselves in being able to say, if we don't have it, we'll create it. Yeah. And so when I've made decisions on budget, you know, Money is not coming from there. So if it wasn't admin cutting arts funds, then who is? I got in touch with drama teacher Steve Eldridge to give me a clear picture of this issue. And the city's got a lot less money. So money that used to um, come out of the city budget that went into things like the musical mm -hmm. um, basically isn't there anymore. And so we basically have to fundraise for all of the stipends. How is the administration supporting you? Um, Brian Lombardi is incredibly supportive. In fact, he's been really active um, in terms of trying to help us get going with this mm -hmm. thing. Um, he is he is one of the most supportive people for the arts that I know and has been a mainstay of sort of keeping our spirits up. Mr. Lombardi was just too good, so I had to go to the top. I decided to take my investigation downtown to the man himself, John Provost. I'm here now at the Northampton City Hall's municipal offices. So we had built a budget based on an additional 20 students, okay. and we instead received an additional 100 students. Um, and so in order to meet their needs, we've had to um, ask each school in a manner proportional to the si overall size of the budget that they control to contribute to that, um, the need for the new students. So last year we had, had that same kind of budget freeze in effect, but we were able to send the money back to the cost centers. After trekking around town, this is what I finally found. And it's that Northampton Public Schools do a really good job of supporting their students, the arts and extracurricular activities. So this holiday, we should all be very grateful for Mr. Lombardi, Dr. Provost, and all administrative people. Again, I'm Nell Sanders, and this was Tell It Like It Is. That was so easy. <laughs>